Uh, SEIU has come out and they have endorsed President Obama for his uh, re-election, uh, which whoa, is... Whoa, 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 slow down. Yeah, I know. What, you, you just bust that out like that? You don't even prepare us for such a shock? I know. They're, I mean... They're all for the president, and why not? Who wouldn't be? Listen to the scam that SEIU is involved in. Uh, this is coming from a local... Is this... No, this is uh, actually from Fox, right? This, I believe, is from uh, Fox. Listen to this report of uh, of, of the scam that SEIU is in. Yeah, there. Mm-hmm. You just had it. You were just. All right, I'm not going to argue was, with you. Just, just, just go. <laughs> Forty five minutes. It's like ago. we are like that an old married couple. Just forty. I don't want to hear it. Five minutes ago, but here, here it, is. it is. Due to my incredible genius, Robert and Patricia Haynes, who care for their two adult children that are stricken with cerebral palsy, but one piece of legislation in their home state is making it even tougher for them to do their job. A forced unionization law classifies Robert and Patricia as, quote, home health care workers, and all because they take care of their handicapped kids rather than institutionalize them. As a result, the parents are forced to be members of the Service Employees International Union. That union deducts hundreds of dollars each year from aid meant to help them to care for their son and daughter. We asked the SEIU to come on or comment today and yesterday. So far, no response. With us now, Robert and Patricia Haynes joining us exclusively from their home in Macomb, Michigan. Now, Patricia, when you found out that the money you receive in assistance to help you care for your children, some of that money was being taken out forcibly from you and being given to a union. What did you think? Well, I, 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 I've never worked for a union before, so I just simply said, I don't want to be in a union. And they said, well, yeah, you do. And that was the way it was. <laughs> that's the way it was. No, that's not the way it is. Mm. No, it's not the way it is. Stand up, America. Stand up. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Don't ever say any more. That's just the way it is. It's not the way it is. It is this way because we've allowed it to be this way. We warned you about this very scam during the health care debate, and we were ridiculed for it. Here it is in practice. They are taking money away. My tax dollars, where I want to spend them, to help this family take care of their child. This is what our tax dollars should do. You want to take care of those who cannot take care of themselves. It is a family that has chosen to take care of their special needs child and not institutionalized. But because the unions are are hurting, because the unions want the money, because you deciding to put your child in your home instead of their home, they can't pay their nurses. They can't have those benefits. So they're going to classify you as a health care worker. I'm a dad. There's no unions for dads. I'm a mom. There's no unions for moms. Get the hell off my land. Get your grubby fingers off my check. I'm sorry, but if I was forced to join a union, I believe I would stop paying my taxes. I'm sorry. You're doing things with my check, my money. You're forcing me to join because you are colluding. The government is colluding with unions. I'm sorry. No, thank you. America, do not sit idly by. Do you know why the most powerful name in news, Fox, can call and try to get a comment from SEIU and not get a response one way or another for two days? Because they don't give a flying crap. They don't have to respond. They're not afraid of anyone. They are organizing people in the streets. With the money taken from that handicapped child, they are taking that money and organizing the people who are currently in the streets, setting our streets on fire and calling our cops pigs. Not with my tax dollars. Not one damn dime with my tax dollars. Don't sit down, America. Don't blow it off. Sorry, had to vent. Special needs a little close to home. 
And I am sick and tired of the corruption that no one, including the media, will cover. People like SEIU, they are a danger to the republic.